Ahoy mateys! Welcome to CBS News Philadelphia at 10 o'clock on this April 16th, 2023. Let's get the very latest from my good friend and uncle meteorologist Andrew Kozak, who I just spoke to on Instagram not too long ago. Take it away! Alright, thank you, Uncle Andrew. The log swamp fire in Little A Carver Township is now 100% contained. These pictures are from the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. They say more than 1,600 acres have been burned earlier this weekend. No homes were being threatened. No sustained injuries to report the cause of the wildfire is still under investigation. Things are finally getting back to normal at Lincoln University after a shooting occurred on campus left two people hurt. Let's get the very latest from my sister, Marcella, with the details and everything else. Good evening, my sister, Marcella. Uh, we're still pretty shook at. The Chester County District Attorney's Office says two female victims were injured by the same bullet while thousands attended the school's annual yard fest on campus. It happened in a hallway in a multi-purpose building. Detectives believe the gunshot passed through one of the victim's sides and then struck the other's ankle. The victims didn't know each other. The event was open to students and guests. It's what we look forward to during spring break because all the uh, class and uh, sororities come together. The campus was placed on lockdown for several hours. Jahir Jackson was there visiting a friend who attends the school. He says people were running away from the building where the shooting took place. We was out there and it was only just uh, nobody was mad who are you. In a statement to parents, the university says their public safety office is working with Chester County law enforcement to find the shooter. I guess they practice around safety with searching vehicles or whatever they do, but us as neighbors, we're used to uh, what goes on. Junior Sedan Rayburn says some students have feared for their safety in the past, too. There was a deadly stabbing in a dorm in February of 2022. If I didn't if I heard about it and then I apply here, I'd probably change where I'm going to go, honestly, because if you're not safe at your school, then why would you go there? He says these sorts of events affect the school's reputation as the nation's first degree granting historically black college and university. I feel like it definitely tarnishes the name and legacy. Officials say one victim is out of the hospital while the other should be released soon. Thank you, Marcella, my sister. Workers go on strike as CBS News Philadelphia takes you to the Coca-Cola bottling plant in Juniata Park. So with that being said, picket lines were in front of the plates right there. So a lot of people are still being figuring out 
what is going to happen next. The next time people drink Coca-Cola or anything else. 10.06 p.m. right now on your Sunday evening. Tomorrow, there's going to be some new rules going into effect for young people. This named the Fashion District. The Fashion District is a shopping mall located in Center City. It's been in establishment since September 19th, 2019. A ceremony was held today as CBS News Philadelphia takes you to the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, the Jewish Foundation of Philadelphia hosted a candlelight vigil to honor National Holocaust Remembrance Day. The governor was there along with everybody else. So that was a good, exciting turn out of events. We'll be right back, right after this. Stay with Pirate William. Don't go anywhere.